Now the question here is the figure shows a tooth of a four year old child. Identify the tooth. The options are primary maxillary first molar, primary mandibular first molar, primary maxillary second molar, and the primary mandibular second molar. So first of all, we will give a look at the image and before that we should understand that it is a 4 year old child that means all the teeth are going to be primary in nature because primary dentition period is from uh, like three after 3 years all the teeth are erupted until 7 years of age or at least 6 years of age no permanent tooth erupts. So it is 6 year when first mandibular molar or mandibular incisor occur, uh, generally erupts. So that is a different discussion, we will talk about that later. Let's uh, focus on this particular image. If you just focus here, you will be able to appreciate that this is basically the mesial side, this will be the distal side, this is the distal buccal triangular ridge or we can say buccal triangular ridge and here will be the mesiolingual triangular ridge and these two confluence to form the oblique ridge and when I say the oblique ridge is there, the first thing that comes in your mind is going to be yes, the permanent maxillary first molar, right? But yes, in options, there is no permanent tooth. So how we are going to approach this particular question? So I will be uh, telling you a very important concept about this particular question. That is, there are certain teeth in the permanent dentition which are resembled by certain molars of the primary dentition. So, uh, in primary dentition, I must say in primary dentition, okay, there can be first maxillary molar, okay. So, first maxillary molar, it is represented by permanent premolars, okay. So, first maxillary molar is resembled by permanent premolars. Then, primary Second maxillary molars are resembled by first permanent molars. Okay, here of course maxillary will be there. So maxillary first permanent molar. Now coming to the lower dentition. So the first mandibular molar in primary dentition is going to resemble the the first mandibular uh, molar is going to resemble what? None. Yes, this is a very important question which is generally asked in exam which of the following tooth in primary dentition doesn't resemble any permanent tooth and that is big, that is going to be your question or the answer will be your primary first mandibular molar. So, this is very important for your exam. Then we have another your second mandibular molar. Now, your second primary mandibular molar will be, uh, will be resembled by mandibular permanent first molar. So, in permanent dentition, it will be mandibular first molar. So, from this whole discussion, we can make one generalized statement that is primary second resembles secondary first. Okay, we can make it primary second resembles secondary first. If you remember this particular statement, you will be able to solve many of the questions. So, for example, if we just see the maxillary molars here, so we will be able to appreciate that the primary second maxillary molar that has an oblique ridge, of course, this is very much visible here, okay, and that is going to resemble your permanent first maxillary molar, right. So, secondary first maxillary molar. So, here you can see there is an oblique ridge, yes, there is a distal fossa, there is a mesial fossa, there is a transverse ridge as well, okay. Now here you will be able to appreciate oblique ridge, your distal fossa, your mesial fossa and that is why you can say that primary second maxillary molar looks quite similar to the uh, permanent first maxillary molar, okay. So this, is, this was our question also. Now let us discuss about the mandibular molars. So mandibular molars, the primary second molar, the primary second molar in the mandibular dentition is going to resemble your secondary first molar, your permanent first mandibular molar. So here you can see that this is, a, these are the three cusp, okay, and this is the fourth cusp and this is the five, fifth cusp. Now here there will be, yes, uh, one will be your mesiobuccal cusp, then there will be your distobuccal cusp, then there will be this distal cusp and there will be mesiolingual, uh, distolingual and mesiolingual. 
same way here you can appreciate that this is your mesobuccal cusp this is your distobuccal cusp this is your distal cusp this is your distolingual cusp and this is going to be your mesolingual cusp so that is how we can see that there is very much similarity or much resemblance in the occlusal surface of the primary second molar and that resembles the secondary first molar in the mandibular dentition so if we go back to the question we can easily appreciate that this tooth looks quite similar to the permanent maxillary first molar which is resembled by in primary dentition in primary dentition who is going to resemble this the maxillary second molar so answer to this will be very crystal clear the primary maxillary second molar will be the answer your option 3 will be the correct answer